Okay, I don't know if you guys can see all those old cut off stumps, but this is a old dock. And I know the guys who cleared this out originally, they got a bunch of silver dollars and really cool coins and things. But, and they're good detectors. But what I plan on doing is I brought my mini coil and I'm gonna turn this machine on full blast iron on all metal and uh, I'm just gonna see if I can find anything they missed if I can find a relic or an old coin I'm gonna call it a win <laughs> if I can't find anything then I got another plan will bounce to a different site but uh yeah let's see if we can find something anything would be cool <laughs> well I set my sandwich in a scoop on this stump walked right here And I have a, a hit already. All right, let me dig it up. Let's just see what it is. Okay, I think the first one was a chirpy nail. It's all right though, if you guys aren't digging nails, you're definitely uh, missing silver coins. Okay, I think I just found my first relic -y thing. So I accidentally broke it, but it's uh yeah, something, something. That's the two pieces. This used to go on the end and kind of hook around. But look, it's got like a little gem on the end. So, I have no idea what this thing is. Could even be silver. I'm starting to wonder if it's just a really long earring. And then look, the bottom right there has some sort of like writing on it it's not really discernible but it's really weird okay i took one scoop out of it to see if it sounded better and it does it sounds way better i think i probably either have fishing lure blade i'll ring like that a lot or i had a coin in the hole That looks like an old spike or bolt. Okay, first coin. We didn't get it all. It's a grainy. What do we got here? Okay, it's a weedy. Boy, that's been in there a while. I don't think I'm gonna get a date off that. I don't think I'm gonna get a date off that one. Boy. It's a greeny early. I thought that was gonna get me an Indian head. But this has been used, you know, probably from uh, early 1900s all the way up to, I don't know, maybe the 70s. So you're gonna have a range. Well, people are probably swimming in here in the late 1800s too. But boom. On to the weedy. All right. So I was getting a 1213, which is like a nickel signal. Look, I see the edge of the coin again. What do we got here? Oh, it's just a regular nickel. Let's see if I can get a year though. Man, that's like a dream. Been in there a while. Also, part of me finding this, I've been flipping rocks. They're noticeably in the way. Let's see if I can get a date. Hold on. <clears throat> so I think it might be 1940 something. Look at that, coin number three. I'm pretty good with this little sniper today. What do we got here? I can't tell. Thinking now. It's gonna be a weedy. Let me see if I can clean it up a little. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a weedy. <laughs> Although it's pretty smoked. Dang, I wish I could get a date off of one of these so I could see if I'm close to being at a Indian head penny or not. 
This is right, right next to the weedy. The weedy was right here. It's ringing a lot like a nickel. Let's see what it is. Old lead. You know it's been in there a while when it turns white. Holy cow, I can't believe what I just found. I just got me a thimble. Funny thing is, I got my first one this year. All the way in South Carolina. It's like, how have I never dug one in Montana? Boom, there it is. How sweet is that? So I kind of left that dock area a little bit. I'm just kind of working some other areas that I think might be effective and uh, same same general area but boom there it is hey <laughs> not far from the thimble I just found a button that says the king well I see a ring it's coming up 22 oh. let's check that sucker out Oh man, look at that. There it is, there's your penny sound, guys. That looks like gold to me. Let me wash it up. <laughs> so, yep, it's marked 10K in there. Can you see it? No, oh, it's upside down, dang it. I'm not very good at filming. And this thing's chunky. I'll bet this, I'll weigh it later, but this has got to be pushing 9, 10 grams. You know when they ring up high like that, that it's a heavy weight. Oh, man. How awesome. And look, this day started as just, hey, let's try and <laughs> see if uh, we can find some coins where it's already hunted out. <laughs> This is just me really making my way back to the truck to eat a sandwich. That's, that's amazing. Hey, look at that. You never get that part of the harmonica. At least I never do. Take out some other jewelry, maybe. Wow. Please tell me that's not bling. Let me uh, wash this sucker up. Yeah, it's bling. But man, I had my heart going there for a second. Wouldn't mind doing double gold today. Alright, that turned out to be a great hunt. So in the beginning, I passed the swimming dock where I dug the, <laughs> the 238 coins and I went to an older dock. And I knew, like I said in the video, that it had been detected out and I just wanted to test with my little coil, see if I could come up with anything. And of course I came up with uh, two Wheaties. I guess it would be this old nickel right there. I guess we can put that over there. And this piece of jewelry. Now, I did test this. It turned out to be sterling. And I think I might get that fixed. I actually broke it. I feel really dumb. I didn't know what it was. And I just kind of flicked at it for some reason. It just <laughs> it snapped right off. Um, but it's obviously somebody's probably custom jewelry that they made. Really cool. And then I just had gritted out the whole area. I was like, okay, that's pretty much it. And so I took kind of a weird route back to the car, which skirted that other dock, but in a spot that I'd never really dug. And so I ended up coming up with this thimble first, which got me really excited because I was just like, man. And it would make sense that there should be some old stuff on that edge because there used to be old houses there. And no doubt they probably used to swim there. <clears throat> and of course I got this little button and I got the harmonica part. 
And then like, this is just chirping at me, just this huge uh, 22 on the Knox, which is a zinc penny all day long. So if you're skipping zinc pennies, guys, you're leaving these for me, which I appreciate, by the way. And then this is my little meager clad pile. I mean, literally, I spent most of the entire day just trying to hammer out something at the old dock. Just, just wanted to see if, you know, switching up <clears throat> to a different coil and probably a different machine, quite frankly. Just see, you know, what was left there. But, anyways, these three are probably my favorites. Um... <laughs> Only my second thimble ever, so as much as I hate to admit, I kind of like the thimble the best. I'm pretty dumb, pretty geeky when you like the thimble better than the gold ring. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.